are now in section 1.3. We'll be talking about projections. Our goal is to decompose a given vector v into v equals a plus b. a is going to be parallel to some vector d that we're also given, and b is perpendicular to d. So let's look at the picture on the side. I'm given two vectors. I'm given d. D stands for direction. Um, the only thing that I will use of D is its direction. I'm not going to care about its length, no length at all. Um, from these two, I want to find a vector B that's perpendicular right here. And I want to find a vector A that's parallel like this. And the sum of a plus b should be v. So you get this right triangle right here. You get this right triangle of vectors here. So soon in definition 1.3.1, just further down the page, we'll call a the projection. We'll define it to be the projection of v onto d. And we'll call b the orthogonal component of v perpendicular to d. The reason we don't do it right now is that we need to make sure that if I give you V and D, everybody in the class will find the same A and the same B, so we could actually give them names like projection and orthogonal component. So that's what we'll show in theorem 1.3.1. Um, take, take any vector V in Rn and any non-zero vector D. Um, there are unique vectors A and B, so that the three properties from the picture, A is parallel to D, B is perpendicular to D, and V equals A plus B. In fact, this theorem is excellent because it actually gives you a formula for them. So A is going to be V dot D length of D squared D, and B is going to be V minus that. like this. Um, now that we have these formulas that we'll actually prove on page 27. For now, let's just assume them. Uh, now that we have these formulas, we're ready to define what the projection is. So the projection of V onto D or along D is going to be A. So it's going to be V dot D, don't forget the dot here, V dot D over length of D squared times D. So that entire parentheses just gives you a number. And then the orthogonal part will be B. So this formula here which often when we have to compute it, we will actually use the projection that we've already computed and just take V minus the projection.